Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wildcraft, where our pride of lions has grown now that Leonis has met the beautiful Celestial, who has been reborn from her former life as a young white wolf pup in our Wolf Quest legacy, into a beautiful and powerful white lioness, who has actually been given the gift of shooting star speed. So she is going to be super, super fast, which is not some Thing we expected at all uh, but I really love that about her and uh, proud Leonis here is still getting used to having a new companion to leave his handsome den and to come out and explore the savannah realm with him also those giraffes are just teasing us because uh, there's some mysterious force around the giraffe clan, which means we simply cannot attack them because they are my favorite animal. And so they have like a, a personalized force field that I refuse to allow our lions to venture towards. However, there are some antelope who appear to be casting their little shadow spell. And we're gonna go ahead and start hunting them for the morning and spreading the strength as he sends out his shadows. That is so creepy. And the antelope seem to do it more than anything else. Oh my gosh, we're already done? I think Celestial is actually a lot stronger than Leonis, and he has a lot more pride than I expected. So I think he has a little bit of a hard time admitting that. Not like a really, really terribly hard time, but it's just kind of stunning to him. Uh, Cause I think Celestial thinks that Leonis must be really strong and he wants to, you know, try to live up to that expectation from her. But she's actually the one who has all the strength and power from the starry skies, it seems. All right, Zebra. Let's go ahead and get you. Oh, yeah, we should be able to take out both of these ones with help from Celestial. We'll go ahead. Can we roar? To... There we go. We've got it. Holy cow. I mean, look at this. We were getting, like, just beaten by everything before Celestial showed up. And now that she's here... We're just feasting upon all of the other animals here in the savannah realm. All right. I can only imagine what that must be like. Oh, and look at that. She just became stronger. I think Leonis can only look on in awe and wonder as Celestial just naturally comes into so much strength. And he has struggled so terribly much to even get a foothold. And she's already almost the same level as us. All right, the giraffes will resist uh, any attempt to attack them. Ah, and the cheetah. All right, this is where Celestial's concerned. She is aware that they are not the only, the only strong predators across the land. That the cheetah clan, out of all of the different predators here, have actually established themselves the strongest. Fighting the cheetah used to be a death sentence for Leonis, but Celestial sees it as something they must do, more so than trying to unravel the mysterious force field the giraffes have, more so than being able to hunt across the zebra and the gazelle and the wildebeest and maybe even a hippo in the future. More than all of that in filling their own belly is the importance of establishing themselves as the dominant predator in the land. So for Celestial, attacking these cheetah are the most important thing we can do. And I feel that Leonis' pride, even though he would have his hesitations and reservations about taking on the cheetah, his pride will not allow him to back down. And so here we are. Oh, oh no! And we got taken out! Oh, I don't think he could look at her. Oh, I think that this would be like the crumbling of his pride. I think that Celestial, I don't, I don't think she's very impressed. You guys, in fact, like, I think she's a little concerned that, wait a second. I thought you were supposed to be the strong one, the one chosen by our Starry Skies ancestors in order to establish their strength here. All right, we're going to have to prove ourselves. I feel like just getting to level 10 is not going to be enough to have a lion cub with her. Not if we're going to keep going like this. Alright. Yeah, Leonis is going to make up for it. There we go. Alright, and we'll go ahead and eat the warthogs. Who must be quite upset about this. There we are. But yeah, I can only imagine Celestial is actually... That was probably the moment where she's side-eyeing Leonis and being like, wait a second, are you as strong as the ancestors hoped? 
Or are you, are you simply like not what we need? This conquering the Savannah land is for the strength of all of our ancestors and all of our future descendants. You must be strong enough to take on any challenge. And he just like got completely destroyed by a couple skinny cats. Oh geez. And we're about to be completely destroyed by a couple of very angry warthogs. Okay, go, 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 go. And we'll casually be like, oh, convenient, Celestial. <laughs> yes, I, I think that she's not very impressed. We might have to take on a really strong big guy, uh, maybe one of the big bosses, in order to impress her at this point. Um, I'm a little concerned. All right, but we've had a healthy, hearty, good breakfast, getting our level up quite a bit. Let's go ahead and settle in for a moment overlooking the savanna. And Leonis will try to groom himself, calm down, restore his pride, and express to Celestial that in the ancestor dream that he received from the starry skies last night, he was told that uh, he was distracted by the message from the starry skies, that's all. He was told that they must begin to survey all that the savannah has to offer, and that he was simply distracted thinking of the wide lands that they must travel in order to make sure that um, clearly he was just distracted in order to make sure that they know what the territory has to offer. And poor, poor Leonis. I can just imagine like he's trying to get his mane completely back into place and Celestial might be kind of narrowing her eyes and looking at him with a little bit of a harumph. So let's see what we can do for him. At least he is becoming a little stronger and Celestial's getting close too. And because he leveled up, we can also have the luck of another blessing of an epic chest from the ancestors. He only has a couple more left. Once he reaches level 10, he will just have to go back to getting normal chest until the ancestors can find him a quest. <gasps> Look at that! He's got these orange eyes! Oh my gosh! And a little party hat on a fox. So I'm going to interpret that as the ancestors kind of having just seen how he made a bit of a fool of himself and that he is a bit shy, but he does have an innate power and strength to look over the savanna that he needs to be able to trust in. So let's actually take a peek at those eyes for a new piece in our collection. Oh wow, it's the rarest of them! <gasps> okay, we're gonna interpret that as the ancestor sending Celestial, perhaps, as he glances up from grooming his mane, clearly embarrassed, Perhaps the ancestors send her a little bit of a glimmer that she should not be quite so judgmental and that uh, she should be confident that yes, he does have what it takes in order to become a master of the savanna. And I think we're actually gonna change his eye color because he has these yellow eyes, but if he unlocked like such a special savanna e color, I don't like how, like that's not personally my favorite. So let's go with these, let's go with these orange ones and we'll use our acorns. And we'll say that that is the remainder of the glimmer of foresight and the blessing that Leonis is indeed meant to be one of the kings of this land. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll be good, there we go. And then how much does, I'm just curious. Oh, pets are always just, oh. <laughs> oh, but look at how cute, oh my gosh. Look, kitty cat, ah! Okay. I'm going to be so good, but man, do I ever wish we could get a pet. Maybe we'll have a really special quest in the future that will let us get a pet. But all right, I think that reassured Celestial that we're on the right path. But we shall begin exploring and adventuring across the land as the ancestors have requested. And let's also go ahead and begin getting a little bit more strength. The gazelle, I really feel like the gazelles can be a bit of a problem though, because they have something about them that seems to mess with shadows. They seem to be shadow casters. And we yeah, look at that. The shadows are already starting to act quite odd. There we are. A little bit of a snack before we begin adventuring further around the savanna. So right now our quest is focusing on getting Leonis to level 10, but once that is done, I'm a little curious to see if we do end up having trouble with the shadow casters, if we do end up having trouble with the cheetah, or if we have a special, special quest from the ancestors. Oh, the cheetah are back and watching us. All right, Leonis's pride is going to demand that he proves himself against this, this warthog. 
the cheetah we're watching. Celestial has also become stronger. Here we go. Excellent. Let's go ahead. Leonis. Celestial's the one who became stronger. There we go. Yeah, they've got enough strength to shake a stick at. And let's run over here. And we will prove ourselves against these cheetah, who are clearly the stronger ones here at the moment. A powerful roar to shake the ground and let the cheetah know who is in charge here now. No doubt the cheetah spirit will be reborn somewhere on these plains, and they must be gathering together to converse and chirp as cheetah do with their tiny little chirpy voices with one another in order to speak. Let's see, are those more cheetah? That's a hippo. Are those... Uh, that's a zebra right there. So let's come and attack these zebra. Because I think that would make a very filling meal. Gosh, this might be a little tricky, but we're going to do our best. Alright, a lion roar to distract them. A couple lion roars to distract them. Celestial is on it with us. We'll back up just a little bit. She is quite strong. We'll try to pretend this is clearly using our, our superior pack hunting skills. There we go. Hopefully she'll eat this zebra and we can focus on... Oh, come on. Come on, Leonis. Don't let it go to waste. Don't let it go to waste. All right, good. I think he's beginning to make himself a little bit... A little bit less silly to Celestial. And if we do a little bit of work, we might even get him up to level 9 today, which means that he'll be able to wrap up the very first quest that we have been given soon from the ancestors. And we can investigate the mystery of the rumors of these shadows. So the rumors of these shadow casters that the gazelles seem to have the ability to do. Look at the shadows! How could you see that and not immediately want to do something fun and roleplay with it, honestly? All right, there we go. Excellent. And once he reaches level 10, I wonder if Celestial's thing is just going to be like, make her as fast as possible. But they're so strong and we have so much energy with the strength. Okay, this might be a little tricky, but we can do it. A roar to get them both in place. Let's get Celestial over here. And then take them out. Come on, come on. Down you go. Down you go. Oh, excellent. That's plenty. Oh, did you see the shadows? Oh, I hope that's not a sign that the antelope have not decided to leave us be. But all right, so we are only one level away from being able to get... Oh my gosh, there's a lion floating in the distance. There's a floating lion. I think just as Celestial and Leonis were beginning to get confident in their skills, <laughs> they may have run into another lion clan. Look at that. Do you guys see him? Oh boy. He is, indeed, floating in the air. Okay. We may have bigger problems than the cheetahs. <laughs> we may, indeed, have bigger problems than the cheetahs. There may be another pride here who has abilities that we are absolutely nowhere close to being able to possess. Let's go this direction and kind of tuck ourselves into the thick grasses behind this tree. And we'll keep an eye on that floating lion. I bet he'll be gone by the time they wake up. But that is... Oh, he's already gone! You guys! Oh, boy. Yep. Where you've got glitches, what do you do? You sprinkle it with a little bit of role play, roll it all together, and voila! You suddenly have a much more interesting story. So we have Shadow Casting Gazelle. We have a Shooting Star Blessed Celestial White Lioness. We have got the Cheetahs, who seem to have a Blood Fury ability with their dark eyes, and a mysterious group of floating lions roaming across the savanna. This is going to make a much more interesting story than I first anticipated. So, let us carry forth, give all of our wonderful lions their little boost. We're going to give one of the final epic chests, we only get one more after this, to our wonderful Leonis, blessing from the ancestors, just as we bump into this new clan. <gasps> Yes! And we can have more Lynx babies! Oh my gosh, these are all new as well. And look at the green eyes! 
I wonder if that is a sign of children. Like maybe they're thinking of, he's thinking of small kittens. So maybe he's thinking about adding, the ancestors at least are thinking about adding to the pack, but you know, they, they were wolves, so they haven't quite got it right. And they're like, well, is this a kitten? Oh, darn, it's the lynx kitten. We'll get, we'll get a lion cub next time. And we've got this really cool action, searching, oh, that's what we've got to do. That's another big message from the ancestors that we need to be surveying the area. And the green eyes indicate something about trees to me. All right, so that's really exciting. I don't think we'll actually change his eye color because he did get that message, the deep message of the Savannah like abilities that they believe in him for. But we will go ahead and have our ancestor dreams for the night as they curl up and think of floating lions. A bookshelf! Okay, we're going to interpret that as knowledge coming to our pride through all of the work they're doing. I actually am a sucker for bookshelves, even though I still think we should have wild items as furniture. And then for the accessory, again, we're being told we should think of love. I think the ancestors are a little distressed that Celestial and Leonis don't seem to be naturally falling in love as they hope. And now Celestial will be given her dream. I think she's being told to be a little less serious, maybe a little more playful, and that eating and becoming stronger, being able to hunt and become stronger, is indeed one of the important tasks that she could do right now. But all right, my friends, we have had quite a few twists to the story. I'm really enjoying seeing where it will go, and it's giving me many ideas for future adventures that we will be able to take our Starry Skies ancestors across many different realms and worlds. If you guys have some more to add to the story, do please let me know. But until then, if you could leave a like to toss Leonis and our beautiful Celestial a little bit of support, it would mean so much to the Starry Skies ancestors and to me. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!